Greetings fellow gamers, this is Small Archangel, welcome to another day uh, episode of 7 Days to Die, another day in 7 Days to Die, however, it is night time, and if you watched my last episode, I came all the way out here, into this frozen biome, uh, quite away from home, in order to check it out, this is my first frozen biome, Alpha 11, so I was dead excited to check it out, and knew I wasn't going to get home in time for, um... Yeah, in time for the darkness. That's fine. I actually quite enjoy a bit of night running. Up, up. Here we go. Just going to take a bit of coffee. And hope I have enough arrows. I've already dealt with two wandering hordes. An absolute truckload. Now, that's a little bit reluctant to fire for some reason. An absolute truckload of, of zombies in a POI. Oh, a fair few. Plus, enormous random horde yesterday. Congrats, you are now level 60. This is excellent. Meanwhile, if anybody runs up behind me, I'm toast. Ah, you yeah, come on. Oh, got one of them. Got the other one. Excellent. Here we go. I have a slight lag issue. I wonder if I have millions of zombies. Certainly feels that way at the minute. And there hasn't been an update, but for some reason, my game is currently hordetastic and I haven't done anything to deserve it. I haven't upped my spawn settings or anything. I ain't complaining, although I kind of was yesterday because they were ridiculous. The amount of zeds I had then was absolutely ludicrous. But I can deal with this amount. Without wishing to sound too cocky about it. Okay, so. We're going to make our way to the north end of this. Worst thing about this biome is just it's nothing. Look at these. I thought they were... Uh, no, it's specular shine. I thought they'd collected some snow for a minute. That's actually quite cool if they'd managed to do that. Yeah, you're always hanging about the back, aren't you? Yeah, visibility here is pretty poor, uh, which is, I don't know, it's kind of cool, actually. It's kind of fun. So we'll go across the bridge. There we go. I like the footprints in the snow there as well. And here I can actually see. So I don't think there's anything actually uh, in... Gosh, that's blowing really fast, but it looks really cool. Uh, I don't think there's anything particularly in the frozen biome that you can't get elsewhere. But that's okay. I might just stick the road actually where... Oh, that's a big cave. Tempted as I am to check out the cave at the moment. Probably not the best idea. Because, uh, yeah, I might just... I might just go up this road actually. Because if there's a decent POI in, in this biome, I'd like to know about it. Still got coffee buzz, just have to watch out for that. Make sure I stay topped up. I have got a full stack of it. I've been brewing away in preparation for this. To be honest, I'm kind of doing these night runs a little bit more as well uh, as training for the Hub City because uh, now I'm, I am level 60 and in spite of, or perhaps even because of that horde I had yesterday, I've actually got my wellness up to 200, which means my stamina and my, let's keep dosed, my stamina and my uh, health bars are also maxed now, so uh, I don't know whether I can go 
any further up than level 60 or if it makes any odds if I actually do given that now I find that everything I craft is pretty much flawless quality which is great as well because it means if I actually die and drop my flawless gear I'm not so worried about that because I know I can replace it yeah sure it takes the it takes the, the materials to do that but I can actually replace it because I can almost guarantee uh, there's a prefab uh, I can almost guarantee that um, yeah I can almost guarantee that I'll, I'll create it flawless now the idea of, f of, of going to a prefab in the dark not too sure whether this is a good plan in fact I'm pretty sure it's not a good plan still heck I'm gonna do it as I say I am planning at some point soon yeah there you are now you see me what are you zigzagging for you idiot gotcha up oh, maybe even in the next ep oh hello Maybe in the next episode, even, I will be uh, sending myself into the Hub City. Not for the first time, but it'll be the first time I hope that I'll have actually... What the heck do you think you're doing? Shitterbug. Uh, be the first time I hope that I'll actually have survived the experience. I'm not even sure where those guys are going. Just randomly all over the place. Okay. These guys are crazy. Look at them. They're just going all over the place. Are you actually after me or what? What do you call that? I hardly even have to run. They're just silly. Bye. Right, anybody else? Oh, hello, fatso. Oh, gosh. Need a headshot to get you, don't I? Oh, yeah. Cool as a cucumber. Anybody else? Okay, excellent. So maybe I can get through here now. So let's see what kind of a size does this place look? Home is in this direction. Uh, oh, tree stump. Do you know what though? I can't actually pick anything else up, so I'm not sure there's a lot of point. You know, prefabs look a lot creepier at night. Bye-bye, nursey. Oh, there's a store over there. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah, I just... I saw you spawn out of thin air. Yeah, we've got a bit of a game mechanic there. Is there anybody else running at me from nowhere? In oh, yeah. You see, they, they almost don't actually know which way to run half the time. Up. Okay, fatso. Where do you think you're going, fool? Nowhere. That's where you're going. Okay, what did I see just... Oh, yeah, store. Up. There we go. You guys suck. Okay, there we go. Anyone else gonna just randomly spring out of the woodwork or fall straight downwards? Okay, what we got here? We've got a Bon Noble? No, yeah. Ooh, no, we've got orange panelling. That could only mean one thing. Working stiff tools. Yeah, it was definitely worth coming here. I don't plan on going into the building because uh, that would, yeah, locking myself in somewhere would probably be a bad plan. There's evidently some Zeds in there anyway. Oh, there's another. I think that's just a passing gas over there, but... This actually looks like a pretty big prefab. This one looks like a, a pretty big working stiff tools. Okay, I'm going to wait till Fatso here comes out this door because he's breaking, he's breaking his way out for me. I might just get the stuff out of here. He's going to come at some speed, huh? I can't pick it up. Okay. You're only breaking out so I can shoot you, pal. Like that. Okay, should I? No, no, no. This really would be mad, right? This would be a bad plan, right? 
Look at this joint. This is a big working stiff tools. I don't trust that geezer. What's look at this? Yeah, I not see the prefab like this one before. I was quite right. Okay. I'm not too happy about this. Where's the door I came in? It's got double doors and everything. So yeah, I'm not sure I really want to be in there, but I do want to check out and see what else we got here. Pass gas. Somebody who hasn't seen me yet. Now she has. Yeah. Another one. You stop zigzagging, you crazy woman. Oh, there, now you've seen me. Ugh. Come on, Bo. Work. Gotcha. Okay, I'm going to need more arrows after this. I thought I brought two stacks with me, but it's amazing how quickly you get through them. So, any more stores to be had here? Let's see, it's only a little POI, it's not a big one. These guys are going to stop running soon anyway. Hey guys. Look at that, he goes over to see him. What shot that? I did. Sucker. Oh. Where'd you come from? And they've stopped. Well, this was awesome. You know, I feel like I should put an epilepsy warning on this video. Warning, my head torch flickers when I'm using a bow. So don't watch this if you suffer from epilepsy or, morning or uh, movement sickness, because, wow, <laughs> it's not a great look. What a nice sunrise. Oh, crud. It's great. I can shoot them straight all night. Hello, break dancer. And then all of a sudden, it's daytime, and I can't shoot for toffee whilst walking. How odd. Come on, I've got, I've got a big prefab to check out here. Down you go. Anything else? Not that I've got any space to loot it, of course, because... Well, these guys just keep coming. Ah, shut you in the face, come on. Oh, creepy crawler. you come from? You literally crawled under the garage door. Okay, the place is littered with the corpses of the undead. That's just how I like my POIs. Looks like there's one hopping up and down at the junk heap like there usually is. Oh, is that exciting? Okay. If you're going to glitch through, I'm going to hit you. Like that. Alrighty. So. Just a couple more of these to shoot so they don't go sneaking up on me when I'm in working stiff. Oh. One here too. Hey. And then we're going to head into working stiff tools. And I'm going to have to be ruthless because I really don't have much that I can get shut of. Uh, 
Oh, do you know what? We could probably get short of those. I don't need the corn because, frankly, I've got shed loads of it at home. Why am I carrying Duke's casino tokens? It's not like I can do anything with them. Nails, um, maybe? Okay, so I'm going to ignore that now. We're going to have a look in here. Do you know what? No, 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 no. Enough with the migraine now. Uh, still moves about a little bit, but now what I'm actually going to need is my axe. There it is. Because I'm going to need to break in over there. I'm going to need to break these open. Chainsaw. I think I do actually have a chainsaw. Bizarre but true. I already picked one up. Okay, so... This has got some sort of center aisle things going on. Hmm, nice, a good quality pickaxe there. But I can make my own now. You see, I can be ruthless now. Um, I mean, I won't say no to rebar. I'll always get rebar. And certainly, last time I went to work and stiff, I found some metal doors which uh, came in very handy in my base build. Which is coming along nicely. Hello, rebar. We will have that. And we've got one up there. Note to self, if it's got the label on it, don't trash it. Fire axe. You know what? Again, I can probably craft my own fire axe that's flawless now. No. Okay. I need to go in the stock room at the back now, but not before I kill this idiot here. Okay. I probably need my pickaxe for the job actually. I looked in that already. Okay. <laughs> wow, yeah, this is a big joint. There's loads of these. Bound to find what you want, right? Metal doors. Hmm, rebar. Metal doors. I think I have the whole... Uh, well, I don't know. I probably need some more metal doors, but if there isn't anything else I need... Oh, gosh, wow, yeah, definitely need those. Sledgehammer. I have a sledgehammer. Great, great quality sledgehammer, actually. Um, kind of slow. Don't tend to use it as melee. Rebar. Pa. Tough. Really quite. Oh, do you know what? I'm being stupid here. No. Egg. Okay. Now I can have that there. Uh, did I not find that already? Okay. Uh, okay, is there anything else I can get short of? To be fair, probably don't need the nails. What? Uh, yeah, what would I... Look at that. 17 bolts left. That's quite poor. And I need more of those. So yeah, I might just get rid of the nails from the point of view of picking up good stuff. I don't really need the wood either, so that's quite good. Up. Can I take something special to tempt me? And that's not it. Uh huh. And I'm not sure there's even any point in cracking the safe because uh, I've learned all the recipes. I think apart from I haven't found the McDivers, so. Excellent. Metal doors and some more rebar. Would quite like the old rebar. I'm just going to get rid of that. 
And is there anything I can get shut of so I can have my doors too? Because I am going to need some doors, actually. Um, yeah, I can make my own cornmeal. It's all good. There we go. And there was two more doors over there, so I'll just get those before I leave as well. Nothing. Yeah, got loads of those. It's cool. Don't need those now. I cannot remember which one of these. The doors were in. There they are. Okay. And that will do. So this is pretty nice. I'm just going to check out the odd thing like these baskets. It's pretty good for, um, yeah, finding sort of water and foodstuffs as well. Not that, you see, you know, I do find it very, very difficult to say no to foodstuffs. I'm a stockpiler and a hoarder, what can I say? If you're in the apocalypse, you've got a hoard. Beer. Tough one. No, nope, I'm going to have to leave the beer. Nothing there. water. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I could probably... No. My water. Okay. I'll go home armed with a club, I think, because uh, I've only got 17 arrows left, so that's not great. Yeah, really quite a lot of, of trolleys in here. Oh, and another basket here. Oh, peas, you know what? Ah. No, I don't suppose I can make up a gun out of all these parts. Hunting rifle parts, we've got parts, bolt, we got stock, we've got, we ain't got barrel, we've got no barrel, so I cannot make a hunting rifle up and save myself some space. Oh, and I didn't even look at this one. There's nothing in it. Anyway. Tuna. You. <laughs> what can a girl do? Okay, this hunting rifle's not that good. I won't. I'll just. I'll put it in the cupboard. Then, if I come back for it, um, at some point, I'll be back here. This is good. This is a good prefab. I'll be back here. Coffee. I'm growing my own. It's all good. And I can check these out because I'm carrying most meds already, so I can pick those up. Okay, that's it, folks. That's all, folks. That's as much as I can possibly pick up. And so, yeah, it's time for me to wend my way back. I guess it's gonna be a, it's gonna take me a little while to get there. Um, so I'll call the episode now. Um, I shall. Let's see. Where's my home? It's kind of over there. So if I follow that road there, that's cool. But it's not actually far from my base this this uh working stiff tools prefab which is the biggest one i've found to date um so that's that's excellent actually i've actually got loads of working stiff tools uh, there's one in my home biome here at the moment there's not one next door but there's one above here somewhere and there's one in uh, somewhere else. there's about four i've got uh, in my sort of vague facility now and I'm hoping to heck there's going to be some good stores in, in the city as well. Uh, and that is where we're going next time. So uh, if you want to see some Hob City mayhem, then join me for my next episode, which uh, should be exciting, hopefully. Not fatally so. Uh, but for now, um, keep gaming. Keep surviving. Thank you for watching the video. Hit the like button if you did like it. Subscribe and give me a go if you haven't subscribed. It ain't going to cost you a penny. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.